H2K Infosys provides world-class online IT training, staffing and software testing solutions to customers worldwide. H2K Infosys, how we are different from our competitors. 100% job-oriented training, hands-on project work, cloud test lab, resume preparation and review, mock interviews, robust syllabus, one-time fee and lifetime access to classes, access to recorded sessions of live classes. H2K Infosys has won the trust of thousands of students worldwide. For a free demo class, visit us at h2kinfosys.com. Okay. Now, okay, so we will see how we can save the details into a database and, uh, and I'll just quickly recap on what we learned uh, in the previous class uh, to connect to, um, uh, to get the grid view details. Now, let me get started. So since the table uh, which we used in the previous class uh, got deleted, um, I, I'll, be, I'll be opening the document and uh, uh, this one, so where we have insert scripts in this document. So I hope all of you have this document which I have sent to you. Okay, so now let us uh, let me connect to SQL Server and then I'm going to connect to uh, US Batch or which is our, uh, okay, let me create some sample database. So what I will do is I will create a database, create database and I will write, uh, I will write devotee dot net batch. So I am creating a new database, I will be using this database uh, actually, so it is asking to connect and uh, the database has been, database has created now. So what I will do now, I will I'll use this database dot net batch from now on. So either I can select from here, I can go here and I can select here dot net batch or what I can do is I can simply write here use dot net batch. Okay, so now if I execute this, you can see that this is changed to dot net batch. So there are two ways, either you can uh, select from the drop down list or you can actually uh, type like this use dot net batch. So that will actually create this. So now, uh, now let me go and copy this query which we have here. Uh, for creating the table. So I'm going to create the table employee. So I copied this and then paste the value create table here. So let me create the table employee. Now I just create the table employee. Now I'll add, uh, I'll use the insert scripts here and uh, add the data for the table. So I'm going to copy the insert scripts. Right click on this. Okay. So now let me execute this. So what I'll do now is I'll quickly uh, create a simple project, very quick uh, uh, description about creating a web application and adding that. So please try to understand. Okay, so let me close this. Okay, I'm going to create a new web application, new project, new project and I am going to select Visual uh, Studio 2013 web application. So I am selecting this and I am selecting ASP.NET empty web application. Click on OK. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a new web form here. So right click on this add new web form, add new web form, new item and I'm selecting a web form and then click on OK. So in the previous class we saw how to display the grid view directly and also we added a text box and, and we passed that parameter. Okay, so now I'll show you quickly how to add the grid view in 5 minutes and then we'll get started ASP.NET grid view. I'm going to add a grid view here and then ID is equal to GV, uh, uh, I'll give some name employee and then I'll give runner server. Okay, so we have uh, we have grid view GV employees and what we did was, uh, let me go to F7 and then here, here what we did was, so I wrote here using system.data and using system.data.sql client and using system.data.sql 
dot SQL okay so now now uh, first first I created connection so connection I need to connect to the server so I need to tell what is the server and what is the database and what are the credentials after that what I need to do connection command and then I have connection command and then data adapter and then data set and what is the last one I need to give fill the values of data set to grid view so always ensure that you write proper comments uh, because every time uh, if someone reads the code if someone uh, reads the code which you have written they should be clear uh, in what you are actually trying to do so so even in in our uh, real time we add comments like this so we add comments like this the below code will populate the grid view okay like this we write and for the class we add a comments like this so for the class uh, at the beginning of the class or any other class we add a uh, proper comment saying like who wrote that and uh, uh, what is the purpose of the class okay so now first connection so SQL connection CONN is equal to new SQL connection and then here I write con dot uh, so I'll be writing con dot there are two ways in the previous class uh, in the previous class I just showed you how to add the connection string in the brackets for this we saw like there are overloads here and I showed you like one of two overload and the second overload is showing uh, to add the connection string so imagine if you are selecting the first method what you can do here is you can actually uh, you can write here as well so con dot connection string you can write like this so either you can write in the brackets or you can also write here for this so what I need to do here data source is equal to Magnat PC and then I need to write initial catalog initial catalog equal to I need to write dot net batch and then uh, for Windows uh, Windows uh, authentication I need to give integrated integrated security equal to true so like this I need to give and then what I need to do command so SQL command CMD is equal to I, I just wrote here select star from employee okay um, SQL command CMD is equal to I wrote like this new SQL command and here also I went through the second one so I have given the command text I, I have selected this one in the previous class so the third overload is having a string command text and SQL connection so I selected this and I gave here the command uh, command which I need to execute and then comma I gave comma and then I gave this con here so I, I, I gave like this in the previous class so here also you can select empty uh, empty uh, overload and you can give here like this cmd dot uh, command text equal to you can give like this and cmd dot uh, connection you can give like this cmd dot connection equal to okay and here SQL data adapter DA is equal to new SQL data adapter and we need to give here so here I selected uh, this overload and I gave here CMD I gave this once I give that command value for the data adapter I need to declare data set data set DS equal to new data set and then uh, and then what I need to do fill the values fill the data set so so fill the data set using data adapter okay so here what I what I'm doing I will be filling this using data adapter so how to fill that I need to give da dot fill ds so now what this our data adapter will do it will get the values from the table and fill it to data set and then now what I need to do gv employee dot data source so we need to tell what is the data source DV, gv employees dot data source is equal to your data data uh, data set and then gv employees dot data bind that's all so this is how we learned in the previous class so now if I run this um, if I run this you can see that the tables from the employee uh, values from the employee table will be displayed in the grid view so let me run this so we learned this previous class and also we learned about adding a button adding a text box when you click on search for uh, Ravi asked a question so we learned that as well 
And now what we are going to see is we are going to see how do we insert the data into the table. So uh, if you have a form, if you have some fields, uh, so we will see how do we insert the records. Okay. See now, I'm seeing this. So I'm seeing this employee table. I'm getting the values from uh, from the database table. So now, let me close this and let this code be there as it is uh, what I'll do is I'm going to add a new page uh, let's take an example of information.aspx or add user.aspx so let me create another simple table for learning about uh, insert script so now so I'm going to create table user or create table uh, customer and I have say for example um, uh, for example name varcat 20 and then I have uh, I have city where cat 20 and now I have uh, let's take uh, state state city okay city and uh, let's take name and one simple example I'll take here I will take instead of city let me take um, yeah let's have city okay okay so let me create this table so now <laughs> sorry so let me create so I just create the table so now what I'll do is from this application so I have new web form so I'll be adding a new web form information.aspx or add customer.aspx so right click on this add new add new item and I'm going to select here uh, new web form and I'm going to select here add user add customer add customer.aspx now click on add so here what I will be having is so you have to create a uh, very good UI uh, for with with the form values so at the end we will be doing in 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 two to three classes we'll be doing a project actually so where you have to use all these uh, technologies what we what we learned now okay so I'll be telling today how to create a three tier architecture product as well we need to use that in in working on this project okay so keep this in mind what we are going to do now so now let me go to source so what I'm going to do here is for now I'm adding like this username or customer name ASP colon text box ID ID is equal to txt uh, customer and then here run at server okay and then and then here we have customer name let me add a br tag and then customer city ASP colon text box ID is equal to txt city and then I will never use uh, drag and drop even in office like uh, it's better actually so now now I have two text boxes one is customer name and customer city and then I have a br tag and then what we need we need a button to save the details so what you can do here ASP colon button and ID equal to BTN uh, save and then run at server so here uh, when you want to save the details you don't need uh, you don't need data set because you are sending the details to the database so normally you need a data set when you want to display the table values so here uh, run at server and text is equal to let me put save okay so now let me go to the design view and now I'm not I'm not bothered about aligning this properly having some header like add customer details because you already know that so we discussed in the previous class uh, about HTML H2 I can give here add customer details okay so and then let me add a BR tag so how many of you know like uh, in we did one assignment where uh, where we saw that uh, we can format this properly using a table we can align this properly in the center so so all of you know that I gave assignment as well where we have some form fields and uh, you have actually done very good uh, like you aligned it center properly and uh, we added a table uh, TRTDs and all so uh, 
uh, in couple of days uh, I'll be telling uh, the project which you have to do and you have to use uh, nice screen looks like this um, uh, all the form fields so I'll send everyone the PDF with five screens which I'll be expecting that you have to do it properly I will be giving four to five days of time and I will explain everything to you uh, so you might need to watch the videos and then try to understand how to do that project okay now now so now what I need to do if I want to write the code in the button on button on button click so I on button click when I click on this button save I have to save these details into the table so what I need to do double click on this button and here uh, automatically a button click event will be generated so here I don't want a data set now because I'm not displaying in any grid view so I need to write the code to save the details into the database so what I need to do now I need an insert query so before we get started frame your insert query here so insert into insert into customer uh, name comma city and then values a uh, type here some simple uh, name name as, uh, let's take Meghnath and and comma I will write here Hyderabad okay so this is how you write an insert script so anyway we'll see uh, how now I have this insert script here so in instead of uh, instead of Meghnath here I want to put txt uh, txt customer name dot text and instead of Hyderabad I want to put txt uh, uh, ct dot text so here I want to put that text value and here I want to put the text box value respective text box value okay so now what I'm going to do now let me go let me go here and here I need to write first connection connection is common and SQL connection so I'm not getting SQL connection why I'm not getting here SQL connection I you why I'm not getting here uh, in the previous form I got it but I'm not getting here so I got one response so yeah I got response from uh, two to three of you I need to add the namespace okay so so imagine I don't know what is the namespace for SQL connection so how I can get it um, I ask I'll ask you a question I don't know what is the namespace for SQL connection I forget the namespace now all of you also forget so how do you get it so here is a question so imagine I don't know uh, what is the namespace for console so here I wrote console and I forgot the namespace for it I for what is the namespace for console using system using system so now uh, so I got a message from Sandhya saying like move the uh, okay let uh, control okay so now so I repeat uh, so now what I need here I need a connection so SQL connection CO NN is equal to new SQL connection and here what I need to do I need to give the de details of connection string so let me copy paste that from here so let me copy paste the connection string value from here so ideally connection strings are configurable values we need to put these values in web.config file I'll show that uh, I'll show that to you guys in some time so I have added this connection string here and then what I need to do here uh, I need to write in command so command so what is my command uh, SQL command CMD is equal to new SQL command and I'm not putting inside the brackets now so either I can put here inside the brackets my command and connection or I can do like this CMD dot uh, cmd dot select command or cmd dot command text command text equal to what is my command text so let me go here and copy this command text so let me copy before that what I do know in, in office if I want to write this code I will execute this and test whether this works or not so if I execute this okay this is working fine so just to check whether the insert command is correct or not so select star from employee select star from customer and let me execute this okay so this insert query is working fine so let me copy this insert query and then paste it exactly uh, paste this here so I'll paste it directly like this now insert query is same but every time I execute this every time Meghnath and Hyderabad will be filled so what I need to do here instead of Meghnath I want to put here txt 
customer.txt so let me delete this and I will add double quotes and then plus plus and here I will add txt customer name dot text okay so this is how you have to uh, just instead of that make not you need to add this value this one like this okay so name city values since here I want the text box value instead of make not what I need to do just put double quotes and plus plus inside the plus write the same thing we are going to do it here uh, inside the single quote I'll be adding double quotes and I'll put plus plus and in between plus plus I'll be typing txt city dot text so please uh, watch when I'm doing that so now I'm going to delete this and I'm going to put plus plus and I'm, I'm going to write here so before plus plus what I need to do I need to add double quotes here so double quotes begin and end double quotes plus plus and I need to write txt city dot text okay now I'm done so now whenever I run this code instead of this uh, Meghnath and Hyderabad the values from the text box values will be filled okay so now here I'll not be using a data set or data adapter so here what I need to do is I will be opening the connection so con dot open so here you have to exclusively write here con dot open okay so this step is uh, is required for when you when you're not when you're not using data adapter so open the connection so when you are using data adapter what data adapter will do is it will open the connection by itself and it will close the connection but here you have to open the connection con dot open so once you open the connection so if you want to execute the command you have to write like this cmd dot uh, cmd dot execute non-query